Now I'm here with Tanya Ross, who is the owner of Vintage Market Days, and that is right around the corner, and I know we're all excited to experience it. Now, you and I were talking before the show, just going over how many different options people are gonna have to shop, and all for a great cause. Yes, so Vintage Market Days brings in vendors from all across the U.S., bringing vintage, vintage-inspired furniture, home decor, boutique clothing, and we also give back to the local community. We partner with a couple nonprofits, and a portion of our ticket proceeds go back to them. And one of our favorites is the Clay County 4-H group. And I personally love that because your girl Jana was in 4-H for a long time, and I absolutely loved it. So all of those programs are really important, but like you said, we get to shop and spend money with a purpose, which is what we love. So what can people expect in terms of the variety of vendors that will be here? We always encourage everyone to really take their time and introduce themselves to the vendors. Mm -hmm. Every vendor has a story behind their business, the why of why they got into the business. Some of them actually have international pickers, so they're bringing things over from internationally. Um, like for example, this is an mm -hmm. Italian oil painting that's brought over. This vendor here actually um, grows the flowers in California and dries them and hand makes the wreaths oh, as so you this wait. Is, this at is, the event. I thought this was faux. Okay, no. wow. Oh, how beautiful. Okay. So then you'll find vintage goods, you'll find boutique clothing where you can do a custom hat bar, and then vintage goods that you can mix in with your traditional home decor. Now, what are some of your favorite finds that you've gotten throughout the years? Is it hard for you as, you know, somebody who, who knows it's all coming in? It's kind of like when you own a boutique, you know, and, yes. you know, you're like, okay, what do, what do I have to rein myself in? And what are some of your favorite treasures? So if you watch us on Facebook and Instagram, Vintage Market Days Jacksonville, I always do sneak peek photos leading up to the event, the day uh -huh. that we open. And you'll see my favorites are always in those sneak peek photos, but I don't have time to shop because I'm greeting all the customers that come through. But some of my favorites that I have I've actually gotten is I collect uh, the little travel clocks. Okay. So I have a, a collection of those. We put them in our guest room when they come down to Florida to visit us. And I love using vintage books. It gives a pop of texture and things like that to your shelves. So one of my favorite things about vintage books, and this is something I used to do with my aunt, my grandmother, loved finding vintage books to see if they ever had any personalization mm -hmm. in them. Mm -hmm. And now with the internet, it's super fun because you can go and see if you can find that person. But I always thought that was really special, or sometimes there's pictures kind of stuck in there. Yes. So really neat pieces of history, but like you said, along with very modern, great fashion pieces. Absolutely. Now, the hat was something that was special to me because I just got back from Nashville and did a custom hat fitting bar appointment that was so fun, but I guarantee you a lot more expensive than what you're gonna find here locally so you can have that same opportunity that same experience and this one was personalized for you right yes it was so it has trim on there and i'm a breast cancer survivor so it has a little breast cancer uh, charm on there and then my initials and that's such a cool experience because you get this very like curious George man in the yellow hat shaped thing and they can fit it to be kind of a cowgirl style. If you want a flat brim, there's all sorts of different things they can do with the shaping, which is so fun. It now, is. in terms of signing up for the market or getting tickets, how can people go and experience the shopping? Absolutely. So tickets are always available at the gate during the event and that's April 28th through the 30th. Right now we're selling those online with Eventbrite. You can Google us, Vintage Market Days Jacksonville, find us through Eventbrite right Facebook or Instagram fantastic now can we see those sneak peeks on there too absolutely awesome well, <laughs> thank you so much now we're gonna send it to Rance <laughs>